stone's throw from the shopping mecca of Cardiff city centre lies a street with a long history of homegrown business. Good morning, Cora Co. How can I help? A kilometre-long melting pot of independent retailers, City Road is the country's most diverse street. Almost 60% of those who live here were born outside of Wales. So much diversity in City Road. My Scottish accent is just adding to it, I think. A place where new... I hope open next month. ...and old collide. I wouldn't like a business down yet. No, it's altered. Where change is inevitable and fun times are always just around the corner. Vibrating mascara looks kind of spiky. Ah, look at that! On a street that was once the site for public executions, oh, Mom, I'm gonna cry, you know. it's not always easy to survive, but the people of City Road have learned to come out fighting. Let's go, Let's go. And they never stay down for long. I love you, Dave! This is life on City Road. It's a place to be for action. Today, City Road is many things to many people. City Road is very good, very good. These days, the street is better known for its restaurants than its retail. And the businesses that thrive here are those that throw everything at it. We try to go for a higher standard of what City Road's kind of been used to. Give me three. Rolling with the punches. For sure! Harder! And keeping up with the times. Bum shaping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One man who thinks opportunity knocks on City Road is Amjid. It's looking good so far. Exciting times now, you know. At the far end of the street, Amjid is transforming an old electronics shop into what will be the 58th restaurant on City Road. It's looking fantastic. Exciting stuff. Amjid has moved lock, stock and barrel from Glasgow, especially to open his business on this street. Hello, bud. My wife, she's originally from Cardiff and uh, we used to go to City Road. I, you know, I just kind of looked around and I thought it just had a right good vibe and, and I thought I want to be part of this. Building materials, is it? So much diversity in City Road. That's one of the things I love about it. Me coming along with my Scottish accent is just adding to it, I think. Right, I'll go in here and look good now. Aye, All cool, right. no problem with you, Faye. Dundee, what you Dundee, I'm from Glasgow. That sounds like good Aye. Well, eh? <laughs> Amjid's restaurant will be part of a national franchise. Kebab is originally based around grilled Pakistani and Indian food, uh, barbecue food. And he thinks that attention to detail will be his recipe for success. There's a bit of the arrow at the, bo the bottom there, the kind of skewer thing that's kind of sticking out a wee bit too much for my liking. Everything's got to be perfect from the word go, you know, and I I'm hoping that when the people do come through the door, they'll see that the, the amount of effort that we have put into getting everything as perfect as we can, you know. Just try to go for a higher standard of what city roads kind of been used to. We're just taking up upper level, you know. Uh, and the thing is, sometimes when you do that, then it forces other businesses as well to kind of up their game as well. Amjid's not the only one with an eye for detail. I don't know about this colour. His wife, Uzma, is also a bit of a perfectionist. Are you sure that's the colour we chose? Yeah. Uzma, my wife, she's got very high standards, but in a, in a good way. That's different, that's different, that's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it? Should agree. You want to just be right, you want to cut corners, make sure everything's right and stuff, you know? Uzma's already spotted a problem with the sign outside. The finishing is not very good. No. The screws don't look as if they're very secure. And it's a very heavy sign, and it's the last thing you want it is falling on somebody's head. But is there an even bigger problem with those chilies? Sap. Bit at the bottom, not many be at all. The chilies are they know the wrong way around? Oh my god. I think they have. Quick, check the franchise website. No, 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 no we're all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I decide. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh. Sorry, it's just me. 
once you go past this point, it's a little bit more eye-watering. Just down the road from Amjid's restaurant... The vibrator part is quite big. Faith is taking an unusual goods delivery for her new passion project. If you did pop in, I can show you it working. She's turning the upstairs of her sexy shop into a combat sports gym. Can I help with something? More boxes. I'm emptying the boxing kit. OK, big There's boxes? A... Yeah, bigger the better. OK, we have plenty of boxes. It's all part of Faith's plan to diversify her business and keep the passion alive. The building is so huge. First, we didn't use most of the space in here, but now rates have gone up so high and every, all the bills are going up and up and up, so using this space is going to be a wise move, I think. There's another reason why Faith wants to transform her old storeroom. Why have we got Vaseline? <laughs> <laughs> That's a sparring. Eyebrows. Oh, OK. Subcuts. And that is to keep fitness fanatic Paul happy. Got a long history in combat sports with boxing, kickboxing. Took about four or five decent titles, all the big ones nationally. He actually used to be my boxing coach, and that's how we knew each other. A few years ago, when Faith's relationship broke up, Paul went from fitness coach to life coach. I was kind of stranded when I split up from my partner. He was here one minute, and then the next day he's gone. Now I've got leaks all over the building and carrying big, massive, flipping, heavy things up the stairs and this, that and the other, and I had to cope with it all on my own. And then Paul came to my rescue. I was like, Paul! <laughs> it was the time when you looked in the sewer one day and got covered in shit. <laughs> 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 He's my man Friday. That's why I want this room to be done so that he sort of stays around. Ugh. All those years of college, all those years of reading, training, this, that and the other. I'm putting false cocks in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Aspirations, eh? <laughs> Downstairs in the shop, the training is just beginning for Faith's new employee. That's not a dress, is it? No, it's not. No, it is. is that a dress? No, it, it changes into a dress when you put it on. Wow. <laughs> Siobhan will be the evening manager at Passion. Well, I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, no, I'm not very good at this at all. I need to tighten things up financially and, and get even more sales if I can by opening till 9pm. I don't know why I'm trying to give the mannequin some sort of modesty. <laughs> there we are. Lovely. Of course, it's vital Siobhan knows her way around the goods. From the smallest... We've got handmade bikinis. They're mainly for strippers. ..to the biggest. <gasps> That's a bad boy, isn't it? It's fabulous. I want one. <laughs> and then we've got bum shaper pants. Bum shaping? Yeah, your bum comes they... through there and it makes it into a big, massive... <laughs> ..into a big, massive round. <laughs> I'm really quite interested to see how she's going to work out. Yeah, I think she'll be good. Hey, is it Jasmine? At Kebabish Original, Amjid and Uzma have also been interviewing staff in anticipation of opening their restaurant in a couple of weeks. Do you eat out much? Um, not much, no. The only places I go really is, like, Nando's. And that's oh, okay. the only place I will go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On site... Building work continues. Amjid's brother has come all the way from Glasgow to check out progress. And he's impressed. It looks pretty classy, doesn't it? Ah, it is very. I like that. But I'm really pleased with him. Proud that it's my brother that's doing this, you know? So... Amjid's putting a brave face on it. But privately, the pressure is mounting. I've not been really sleeping that well. I've been stressed out. I can't sleep. For the last few weeks, progress on site has been painfully slow. There's been a few delays, uh, a few mix-ups. You know, it's frustrating. There's a lot of uh, interest in us opening. People want to book engagements. And we're having to knock all this custom, uh, this custom back because of delays in, in, the, in the build. And the delays just keep on coming. Whoever put it on should have allowed a five mil gap because it, it expands and shrinks. 
So when it's all tight like that, if it expands, then it'll all sort of pop off. Can be annoying when something's done and then you've got to take it down and redo it, you know? So. Inside, Amjid spared no expense on the fit out. I know I'm way over budget. Uh, that's one of my flaws. I think it is um, not looking at what things are going to be costing. I should have had money coming in. I've had no money coming in for the last six months. It's a, it's a big pressure. It's not just his own future that Amjid's worried about. <laughs> He's also a father of four. Every man and woman out there, when they've got kids, they all they want to do is give them a better life. I put everything into this and then, but it's still it's always at the back of your mind. You know, what am I going to do? You know, how am I going to provide? His solution is drastic. I, I'm having to put my house up for sale, actually, to be honest with you, which isn't very uh, pleasing. For me or my wife, kids as well, you know, we're all upset about it that we're having to sell up now. It's a sacrifice we're going to have to make for the business. Uh, hopefully it will pay off, you know, and the kids will understand why you had to do it, you know. It's been one of the wettest winters in City Road's history. It's like a fridge in here, isn't it? And at Passion, it's having an inevitable effect on business. It's cold because the shop is so big. But if we put all the heaters on, the electric blows up. <laughs> Upstairs. Oh, this has got to go. Everything. The weather is raining on Paul's parade, too. This room won't even leak before, will it? And the state of the roof is putting a dampener on his plans to convert the old stockroom into a gym. The roof. There's a little mess. It's soaking through and through. It needs replacing, but I think it's a 50, 60 grand job. If they do put a new roof on it, we'll end up paying for it in the long run anyway, because um, it'll just go on top of the rent. Faith, meanwhile. So, is he always the optimist? Is still keeping the faith. In right. this world. Left. She knows it's not what you've got. It's what you do with it that matters. You and me. Always on the lookout for ways to monetize the spare space in the building, Faith has already converted the top floor into a burlesque and pole dancing studio. It's been a roaring success. Up the belly. In more ways than one. It's a great way of increasing footfall through the shop. Obviously, with the dance lessons, if you want to, if you need to dress up, then my place is the place to come for that type of product that you need. So the corsets and things are over there. There's sparkly stuff all over the place. My favourite. <laughs> <laughs> sparkly shoes, little burlesque hats, <laughs> feather boas. So yeah, double whammy. It's good all round. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four. Going left, right, left. Right, excellent. Left. Downstairs, meanwhile, the last customer of the day is buying for a very special occasion. There is a piñata very grande. Vamos a tener una brincadeira muy buena. A piñata leva todos os artículos que você quer agregar. A piñata is a paper figure, usually filled with sweets and toys, that's broken open at a kid's party. Has our Portuguese-speaking tourist come to the wrong place? Everything inside the piñata, is it sexy? Everything's sexy? Yes, there, this is party for sex. Uh... Apparently not. Oh. Adult piñata party, I mean, the mind boggles. <laughs> Bashing this thing, or what's going to come out of it? Pensando que o futuro, as mulheres não precisam de homem. Já tem tudo satisfação aqui. Se chode. Se de rosto, está muito bom, muito bom. The world takes all sorts of people, you know, to, to make it interesting. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs> Perhaps it's the location that attracts the colourful customers. City Road is the most eclectic mix of cultures and tastes. Visitors here can sample the flavours of 18 different countries. 
and behind every shop window, there's a great story waiting to be told. Me, come on, no. Single shot here. Me. Oh, good shot. On Tucked me. away on one of City Road side streets is the ultimate fitness center. Where champions are made. Denzel Lawrence, the owner, is a former world title kickboxer. I was world champion, I was British champion, I became European champion then. I was world champion. I've done it and I'm proud of what I've done. Now retired from fighting, Denzel trains current champions, including his own son, Levi, in his specially designed combat fitness gym. The gym we got now is absolutely awesome. Master, come on, keep it going! You know, I fitted this on a gym that I would like to have gone to when, you know, I used to fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! In my gym, you got all walks of life. And they all mix, they all get on. Let's go, changer! Come on, come on, To come me, on. it's the gym of the future. Good, come on, get it up. I Tonight, Denzel is throwing open the gym doors to a bunch of boxing virgins. We got a lot of new faces today, which is awesome. I think at the moment we got about 100 people. These men and a few women are signing up to get fighting fit for a white collar boxing event that Denzel is organizing. Who thinks white-collar boxing is easy? <laughs> white-collar boxing is something anyone can do. Teachers, doctors, civil servants, anyone who haven't thrown one punch in their life. And they want to give up their free time, you know, uh, to raise money for the charity. So you're all going to train together for nine weeks, and then you're going to step into the ring and fight each other basically, for charity, for help for heroes. Yeah, so you obviously will... A lot of people do not know what, what is involved, but it is an awesome journey and a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Have you seen the Hero 6 Minutes kit? If anyone can get this bunch punching above their weight, it's Denzel. Denzel's held multiple titles and trained multiple champions, including his son, Levi. <laughs> Tonight, it's standing room only. But next week, when the fists start flying... Hero for six minutes, yeah! Who will still be standing? Hi, right, Sir, it's Amjad. Can you please give me a call back? It's six months since Amjad began work on his dream restaurant on City Road. By his original schedule, he should have opened weeks ago. But without furniture or even a kitchen fitted, Amjid's nowhere near ready. Oh, this now, uh, it's, it's been like this for weeks. Everything just comes to a total standstill. Doesn't matter who I phone, how many calls I make, none's happening. I had a delivery yesterday, but I'm waiting on um, kitchen equipment arriving. Ah, uh, right, yeah. Is there any deliveries due today? The plumbers, the plumbers won't, and the gas guys won't come out until that stuff's on site. I'm so sorry, I quite, quite understand. Just bear with me a second. For Amjid, it's not just the time scale that's the problem. There's no money coming in. All the money's went out. We just got a gas bill for £796, but we've not used any gas whatsoever. Believe that. Amjid and his wife, Uzma, have thrown everything they have into making the restaurant work. My dreams and my, my wife's dreams, they're all, they've all pinned on this restaurant now. We've put everything we've had into this one project. It's a big gamble. And if it doesn't pay off, um, I don't know if you'll say you're going to be out in the streets, but you're going to be, you know, going to, everything's going to be, you're going to lose everything that we've worked for over the years. By the time Roy the engineer turns up, Amjid is at rock bottom. When I normally work, I play music, otherwise nothing much get done. <laughs> I'm absolutely, I'm nearly in tears just now, you know. No, I'm, I'm going to cry, you know, so I have to get off the phone, mate, OK? Come 
one, man. You can't be looking stressed like this. Huh? But you can't change it, can you? No. If you could change it then, okay, but when it is what it is, <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. That's I know. how it goes. But he's not looking too good, is he? Come on up. Sit up, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Huh? I'm up, bro. You would think his world is over. <laughs> and it's not even beginning yet. <laughs> started, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You're right, you're right. Uh, you see, this guy yeah, will reach me. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, this guy will reach me. I gotta go back up there. I gotta you later. All right, see you later, man. All right. These guys just make me feel at home. They just make me feel as if I'm one of them and they're looking after me. And it means so much to me. I'm turning me in a Cardiff boy, you know. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd fly the Welsh flag as much as I would fly the flipping uh, Scottish flag. Put it that way, you know. That's how much these guys have been doing for me, you know. A few weeks later, the residents of City Road get a reminder of just how quickly the best laid business plans can go up in flames. Oh my God. Just gotta be so careful. You'll be out of business. It's devastating. I'm just hoping that this ambulance isn't for one of the firefighters. This year, the street and its residents have seen their fair share of drama. This is the third fire in City Road in like a month. But city roaders are made of strong stuff. And sometimes after the darkest of nights come the brightest of dawns. <laughs> the last night there was a, a major fire on City Road just across the road from me. This morning I was hoping to come down because we were expecting a big delivery coming for the rest of the stuff from uh, the catering company, you know. Uh, but all the roads have been blocked off. There was a lot of police kind of activity going on. It's all happening in the city road. It's a place to be for the action, without a doubt. And you know, it's kind of brought, a, I know I shouldn't say it, but it's kind of brought a, a, a small smile to my face, you know, a bit of action. Um, with everything that's been going on with me, but obviously circumstances, you know, I can't do nothing about that. What? <laughs> hey, come on, son, let's go. You're going as well, you think, you know what? Yeah, we've come too far now to, to look back. We're going to smash it. We're absolutely going to smash it. <laughs> It's Valentine's Day, and at Passion, everyone and everything is feeling the love. Yeah. It's Valentine's Day every day in here, so we thought we'd have a little bit of an event just to celebrate that. Even on the most romantic day of the year, Faith has to work hard to pull in the punters. Just make this place look beautiful. City Road is such a diverse road, but it's not anywhere where I'd get footfall. There's, you know, no passing trade for my business. So uh, we're promoting ourselves and, you know, being out there a bit more. Oh, no! They're all tangling! <laughs> Help! Inside, too, Faith wants to woo her customers. Hello! How's it going? And has asked the girls from her burlesque fitness class to provide the entertainment. It all seems to be bringing out people's romantic sides. There you go, my lovely. All right. As well as their wallets. Thank you very much. I'm getting good at this, aren't I? <laughs> With new assistant Siobhan holding the fort, Faith's grand plan to increase the bottom line and diversify Woo! is coming together. Having Siobhan there is definitely going to actually free me up a little and then I can concentrate on running every part of the business. It's a business that's now making an impact. Don't load it up, just pop it out. Put a left hook on the end. 
Upstairs, Paul's plans to turn Faith's warehouse into a warhouse have finally come together. The room's ready, more or less. Now we've got to fill it. I've got to pay for it. Got all the gear. I've got only these hands to put inside them. So, uh, put a four-shot combo. One, two, left hook, straight right. Oh, it's just such a relief to have it up and running. It was a great use of the room. We've boomed before. It wasn't really making any money. So I think Paul's happy now as well. So I think he'll be with us for a while. <laughs> I can't get rid of him now. You really think your man Friday would have left you stranded, Faith? No, I wouldn't have left. Family and friends, family and friends. Uh, probably cost me over the years, but uh, I can sleep at night. So, straight right. No. Oh. I love watching them doing this. I want to have a go. <laughs> you go, girl. You can't touch this. While Faith and Paul are just starting to punch their way into profit, down the road at Ultimate Fitness. Okay, the old empty hammer shit. Okay, let's go. The gloves are off. Hey. Hey. Last week, 120 people signed up to be a hero for six minutes in Denzel's amateur boxing charity challenge. Break it down. Come on, let's do it. It's three two-minute rounds, so you fight for six minutes. Shane stands and keep punching. It's going to be the hardest six minutes of your life. Come on, single punch, come on. Two people who are determined to go the distance are Mo and Charlie. Okay, guys, okay. Uh, one thing I do like about Charlie, I think she's quite aggressive. She's quite, she's quite spunky. My husband thinks it's a stupid idea, but hey. <laughs> Torture that I've seen of Mo, you know, I think he lacks a lot of fitness, but he had not done nothing whatsoever before. So, you know, fair dues, I take my hat off to anyone who wants to do this. Mo and Charlie have their own reasons for wanting to take part. I'm a little bit of an adrenaline junkie, and I always need something in life to challenge me, to be honest. Come on! Fitness-wise, get a bit of fitness. I wanted to lose some weight as well. 2016, new, new, yeah, new me. The mines are willing. Jabbo, come on, let's go. But with just nine weeks to go before they have to fight, will these bodies be able? Of course I'll make it to the end. I don't know whether I'll win or lose, it doesn't matter. It's just a new challenge, just getting to the end is what counts. Obviously there's, um, there's boys in here who's been boxing four or five years. So that's why, like, if I train hard enough, maybe I'll get them to fight, so... We'll see. While for some, the hard work is just beginning. This train session out the way. Well done. For others on City Road, there's plenty of time for fun. I can't wait to go to bed. And a chance to make a brighter future in which everyone has their moment to be a hero. A stone's throw from the shopping mecca of Cardiff city centre lies a street with a long history of homegrown business. Good morning, Cora and Co. How can I help? A kilometre-long melting pot of independent retailers, City Road is the country's most diverse street. Almost 60% of those who live here were born outside of Wales. So much diversity in City Road. My Scottish accent just adding to it, I think. A place where new... I hope open next month. ...and old collide. I wouldn't like a business down yet. No, it's altered. Where change is inevitable, and fun times are always just around the corner. Vibrating mascara looks kind of spiky. <gasps> Look at that! On a street that was once the site for public executions... Oh, I'm going to cry, you know. It's not always easy to survive. But the people of City Road have learned to come out fighting. Let's go, Phil! Let's go. And they never stay down for long. I love you, Dave! This is life on City Road. It's a place to be for action.
sporting the most eclectic mix of shop fronts in Wales, City Road is a street where newcomers are welcome. In City Road, people is friendly. Welsh is nice. Right, let's go. For those taking on a new life challenge, one, two, last it. Yeah! Or just daring to try something different. Oh my God! <laughs> City Road is a street of new beginnings. One man for whom City Road speaks of a brighter future is Iraqi restaurant owner, Ayad. Our save call is not available. Although today, he's having communication problems. Hello? Yes, I heard you. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Oh, let, 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 let me go up the top, I can't hear I'll bring you back, hold on a sec. <laughs> call me every time, same thing. I'll call you back 10 minutes. All this message, no answer anyone. Ayad's trying to track down the supplier who's supposed to deliver his new restaurant furniture. Okay, okay, waiting. How long take? One hour, two hours, two days, one month? It's another problem in what's been a tough year for Ayad. My life all stress. Because I'm very tired, hard work. For the last 18 months, he's been converting what was an old hairdresser's on City Road into a restaurant, all on his own. Everything I do it myself. Tiles, I do it myself. Carpenter, I do it. See? There is one handyman that Ayad can rely on. Yeah, um, His 12-year-old son. My son Amir is very, very helpful and uh, have, uh, very clever. Your hand right should be right. Amir already has big plans for the restaurant's opening night. I've told a lot of my friends to come over, like, on the first day, so they can eat for free and everything. Not free, half a not, price. <laughs> yeah, but, like, yeah, but, like, a discount or something. Yeah, but not all is good. <laughs> Amir is the youngest of Ayad's four children, and today they are a huge part of his life. But 20 years ago, Ayad lost contact with his family completely when they had to leave Iraq to escape Saddam's regime. My dad said to me, run away, because it's not safe for you. In the chaos that followed, the family was separated. Over four years, I don't see my family. Yeah, I live alone. Sometimes my wife says, maybe die. Maybe it's not come back. Eventually, with the help of the Red Cross, Ayad managed to track down his family. Their reunion made headline news. <laughs> it's difficult to tell you. The feeling is so big, I can't say anything. Crying. Also, my wife only speak with the eyes. My son Rami see me, say, why, why leave me? I said, no, me. This is alive. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Amir, I have good muscle. <laughs> Today, Ayad is keeping his family close as they prepare to open their Iraqi restaurant on City Road, their new home from home. People is friendly. Welsh is nice. You find all the world here on the City Road. Immigrants like Ayad are not the only new arrivals to have settled on City Road. Oh, is there anyone to talk, guys? Oh, oh yes. yes. Me, please. Luke and his student friends live in a house just off City Road. In the last 30 years, as the universities and colleges of Cardiff have expanded, City Road's student population has increased fivefold. <laughs> Ice cream's not meant to snap. I told you it was frozen. City Road, we got like a sex shop next to a barber's, next to like a pub. I don't think I, I can think of anyone that compares to it really. Of course, they wouldn't be students if they didn't like to wind each other up. Three, two, one, eight. eight. Yes! 
This morning, Luke has lost a dare and has to carry a cardboard pole with him to the shops. So, yeah, I've got I've to take this for, for a walk. <laughs> Today, Luke is out to source some exotic ingredients for the boys' dinner, all from City Road. I'm making a stir fry. Stir fry. Um, it's like um, meat and vegetables and like uh, noodles, etc., uh, and a sauce. Can you show me what kind of stuff to get? Thanks, man. Cheers. So I have no idea. Like I've never ever seen pickled mangoes before. And you put this in the pan, yeah? Uh, yeah. What are they? Green leaves. I have no idea how to cook them. What else? Chili sauce. Yes. You want? Is it very spicy? Uh, yeah. Cool. I don't think the boys like oysters. I think we'll leave it at that, mate. I think we'll just give this a go. Okay. Okay? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you for your help. We're really not that fussy eaters. We just like food in general. So, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, Haven't you forgotten no. something, Luke? Oh, sorry. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> uh, basically, I lost a day. Um, I, I just got to carry it around for no reason whatsoever. So, but thank you for returning it to me. Thank Cheers. You. Thank, thank you. you very much. We're four guys, all in our like twenties. What can I do? We play pranks each other. We try and get one over on each other. <laughs> so when I said I enjoyed doing the dishes just now, you lied. Oh yeah, and this is boring. And dinner time is the perfect opportunity for the boys to get one over on each other. Again. What are the odds on you, Nate? Eating a teaspoon of hot sauce. So the odds game is where a dare is proposed. Ten to one. Ten to one. Yeah. The people have to say a number between one and the number in which they gave. Ten. Odds count down, please. Three, two, one. And after three, if the, both the numbers we say match, he has to do it. Oh my god. Three, two, one, one. one. Oh! Hey! <laughs> I want you lose the dare. If you don't follow through with it, you lose complete respect. My eyes are watering. Chili eating isn't the only challenge that's going down on City Road. Take your time when you're sparring. At the Ultimate Fitness Centre, under the watchful eye of owner Denzel. Good. Take it easy, we don't want no injuries, OK? Two amateur fighters, Charlie and Mo, are seven weeks into their training for a charity boxing event. From the very start, Mo has felt quietly confident. When I first started to the gym, I looked at most of the boys that was on the and it looked like I could give him a proper go. He maybe won a win, just to prove a point. But with just two weeks to go before the big fight, Mo hasn't exactly been living like an athlete. We were at a party last night, innit? Like, early hours this morning. <laughs> How's your diet going? It was going around until this week. <laughs> Different restaurants every day, bro. Yeah? <laughs> no, but I told him. I told him, you go, you're gonna get knocked out. I don't lose because I don't like losing. Yeah. yeah. So. One thing Mo did want to lose when he started boxing training was some weight. Let me give you some I think I've lost some, but I haven't weighed myself since I started it, so I, I actually don't know if I if I put on weight or if I lost weight. Tonight, Here he is. all will be revealed as Denzel's son Levi is set to give Mo his fitness MOT. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get your weight. I know I weighed in start of the year, 125, something like that. So anything below that is a, is a plus to me. Uh, 125 kilos. It's not a good start. One, two, five. One. And when Mo hits the gym, <laughs> Levi realises his Three. weight isn't the only problem. <coughs> Have you been training outside of here, honestly? It's lifting weights. <laughs> you want to stop the weight and you want to do it, so you do it all. Honestly, it's the fitness is what you need to see. Without a basic level of fitness, Levi's worried Mo might not even go the distance, let alone beat his opponent in the ring. He's not fit at all. He's, oh, he's, he's finished, he is. Yeah. 
the fight is coming up in two weeks, and I I, I want to win. I want to get back in shape before the actual fight. I just feel knackered, long. Can't breathe. Charlie, meanwhile, has a training session with Denzel. Step into the ring. I think she'd do well because uh, she's motivated. She's got a drive, she's got a passion. The jab. Now catch my jab, catch my jab. Seven weeks ago, Charlie had never boxed before. Oh, do the jab. Straight right. But these days, she can't wait to get the gloves on. Boxing's become a little bit of an obsession for me. I train then six nights a week. As it's coming closer, it's becoming more and more of a challenge. Oh, back with the jab, right hand, one, two. She's a much fitter person she was going back two months ago, and uh, Charlie is a very aggressive woman, so uh, I haven't gone to worries about that. Jab me out. <laughs> I quite like punching people in the face now, to be honest. <laughs> it's the getting in the ring in front of loads of people that bothers me. There'll be 400 people there. Yay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But one very important person won't be in the crowd. Is your husband going to watch you? No. He's not? He's not. He thinks it's a stupid idea. No. Are you serious? Absolutely. For him to be there on, on the night would we'll, we'll just make it for me, to be honest. But doesn't really want to go. Um, boxing's not his thing. Yeah, he, yeah. he don't want to see me getting punched in the face. Well, which is, which is fair. <laughs> I, I can understand. I'm sure I'll be OK. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will be OK. I don't mind getting hit now. So uh, I think if I'd carry on doing it, I might even learn to like it a bit. <laughs> one, two, that's it. Or one, two, I'm on the I can't do all of At Mesopotamia this morning... Hi. Hi, I'm Emilia. Ayad has managed to recruit two chefs to test drive his new kitchen ready for opening. Okay. Yeah, come to the kitchen. Yeah, I'm very, very proud when I'm looking, it's everything done, everything finished. But all that building work has left its mark. Ayad's dream restaurant looks more like a kitchen nightmare. We need, first of all, to clean it up. We need to start from zero. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We need a lot of work to do, to be honest. Otherwise, you're going to be poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to be nice and clean. Make sure everything is clean. In the cleaning frenzy, someone is notably absent. Where's the boss? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Turns out a dirty kitchen isn't Ayad's only problem today. Every day I have some new problem. I have leak. Jesus. Okay. So what are, you, what are you gonna do about it? <sighs> Fix it. He's done everything himself so far. Who needs a plumber now? Be careful. I don't want to have a shower. Ayad, perhaps. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the now spotless kitchen, Amir is grappling with the challenge of preparing a Middle Eastern dish worthy of a place on Ayad's menu. This is kebab. It's very delicious. I want to make Iraqi dishes for all the country. I say, come to us and test and see the Iraqi special dishes. Khaled, on the other hand, is thinking outside the box. What do you think if I do Mexican today, different things? But don't tell the boss. <laughs> Surprise! Hey! Hello! <laughs> Amir has a little something he prepared earlier. A surprise cake for the boss. And the cake. <laughs> it just needs a finishing touch. I want to write Misapotomia. How do you spell it? Khaled. Yes, my you know how you spell Good job Khaled has it all laid out. It's M E S O P O T A M I. 
Okay. Mesopotamia. Hey, what is that? Should be eight, there. Is it? Yeah, should be. Where is it? Okay, I'll tell you what. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <sighs> <laughs> so I'm gonna get change and be back. I'll be back. Finally, it's ready. Steady. Lovely, lovely. Cook. Ayad has roped in friends and family for the taste test. In the Iraqi versus Mexican menu standoff. You hungry? Who will come out on top? What do you think about the test? We rad minin say shabu rami. Habil fridge. How is it? It's great. You sure? Yeah, what's it called? Chimichanga. Chimichanga. Is it Mexican? Yeah. Mm. We look nice, to be honest. I have good team. Oh, now, nice. the good quality, good <laughs> service. Yeah, therefore I open next week. I hope that. While Ayad is still planning his big opening night, for Denzel, the main event has arrived. The club's gonna enjoy it, they're gonna love it. I just can't wait. <laughs> At Cardiff Swalek Stadium, the stage is set for the white-collar boxing match. And event organizers Denzel and Robbie are impressed. I'm blown away by this. It's, it's amazing. amazing. When yeah. the lights and all that on, it's gonna look... Oh, no. It's gonna look amazing. Awesome. All they need now are some fighters. At home in Wenvo, Charlie is preparing for the challenge. I can't wait to get there. I've been uh, much moved about how I'm going to knock someone out or not knock someone out. Let's prove the first lot right, is it? Charlie's already won a major battle this morning. She's finally persuaded her husband, Dave, to come and watch her fight. Sorted. Do you reckon? Yeah, he'll do. He'll do? Yeah. I'm really happy that he's going, but I'm sure he will be relieved when it's all over and he can get his wife back. Meanwhile, back at the stadium, Mo arrives. In good time, though perhaps not in good form. How are you feeling, Mo? I was tired, man. I worked a 12 hour shift last night, then, so. Yeah? Well, at least, at least he's turned up anyway. <laughs> for Mo, just standing in line for the medical is exhausting. I'm so tired, literally. I could fall asleep right here. And hungry work. I need to get some food, man. A nice, juicy rub steak, oh, man. Oh. Potato and everything, bro. Although he's still talking the talk. I'm confident I can do this. Go on, Mo. You have to be in there. You can't walk in there if I'm not confident, bro. What's the point of walking inside the ring? As for Charlie... Oh. Yeah, looking forward to it. Always something's got to go wrong now, hasn't it? Let's hope that something isn't Dave. So is he coming in? Yes, he's been conned into coming yeah. in. It's got to be quite difficult, though, seeing your, your better half... Uh, seeing your wife getting... Oh, yeah, exactly. in the face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't like it, mate. I'll be Would honest, you? like, I wouldn't. I couldn't handle it. I'd probably jump in and drop him. My husband's more horizontal. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree with that. It's going to be pumping in here. It's going to be an amazing atmosphere. All right? Everyone happy? Yeah, man. At the ringside photo shoot, our fighters get a chance to check out the opposition. Save me, save me, save me. Charlie will be fighting Sophie the Knockout Carlson. Get used to the feeling of these ropes, girl. Oh, you'll be honest. You'll be all right. <laughs> I'm less nervous than I thought I was going to be coming in, to be honest with you. Mo, on the other hand... Yo, hey, fam, you don't understand, bro. I'm getting nervous now, guys. <laughs> ..has to take down Phil, the bomber. I heard he's a good fighter, but I've never actually seen him fight. I spied with him a couple of times, but that's it. Phil, the bomber. Um, he's, he's a big lad, strong boy. But so's, so's Mo. I'm going to try to stay away from him, like, so he don't catch me. You know? That's the guess, the game plan. Yes, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah, I'm going to chill out for a bit, have a little kip. Sort my hair out. You know what I mean?
while Mo recharges his batteries. Back on City Road in Studentland, the energy is high. Where's their fucking boss, Lord Play? Tonight is Luke's 22nd birthday, and he's celebrating in style. <laughs> I can't wait to go to bed. For guests, there's a wide choice of beverages. And the birthday boy no. is struggling to keep up. We're gonna go out. We're gonna cause carnage somewhere. Oh, the cab's right then. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun tonight. That's be awesome. Haven't you forgotten someone, guys? Look, the birthday boy is stranded. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew. Should we just walk towards the road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's walk towards the road. It's the morning after, and the house is slowly waking up. I tried to get into about three places, but it wouldn't let us in for some reason. I'm assuming we came home then. I don't, I don't, I don't fully know. You right? Food soon? <coughs> yeah. Okay. Usually the score is when we're hungover, uh, we can't be bothered to cook anything. Um, we usually end up going to Granny Max for a, a free breakfast. Once again, Luke has lost a dare and has to wear pink glasses oh. to breakfast. <sighs> okay. I'm starving. But there's always time for one more day. This time, it's a pile of old rubbish. No way. Ah, for the odds, jumping. No. Three, two, one, four. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Luke will have to take the plunge. <laughs> oh my! God, I hate today. <laughs> is, there, is there anything hard on it? Yeah, this is the best day ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just had oh, I just had a waft, <laughs> a disgusting waft oh. of. It's so trying to live. The thing is, you think we'd grow out of it and the game would get boring, but we I think we'd be playing it for maybe I don't know, maybe a year and a half, two years. Probably going to play it for the rest of our lives, really. Right, Max, we know why it's all black and That looks massive. I still feel like. Rubbish. And I smell like rubbish too. <laughs> Very happy. Three, two, one, seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> The charity boxing event, hopefully well rested after his afternoon nap. In the blue corner, Mo is up first. Will Mo, the Spider Man, spin a web that stops Phil the Bomber in his tracks? No, no, Mo! Get out! Get out! Meanwhile, Charlie is fighting her own battle. Hello. Where are you two? Trying to track down her husband, Dave. Dave's gone and lost his shoes. A uh, bit concerned he's not going to get in. That infuriates me sometimes. Come on, Mo! Where? Come on, Mo. Jesus Christ. Switch on now. Listen. Breathe. Breathe. Phil is seem to be a little bit fitter than him. But you never know. Last long, Mo, you know. Like pull something out the bag. In the final minute, Mo gives it his all. But is it enough? It was a good bout. Mo put up a good fight. A good fight. In the red Phil the bomber has it. Unlucky for Mo. Unlucky. I expected to win, but 
obviously the best man on night one. We could have gone either way, we both threw some big punches, we both connected. I left myself too open for him. Oh. Now it's time to enjoy the rest of the night and go and have a beer. Mo, you're buying, aren't you? <laughs> Next up is Charlie, who couldn't be happier. Because despite those trainers, her husband has made it into the building and is sat in the crowd. Nice one, Dave. I got the iron. Oh, 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 Charlie. Have a cut as well? Oh, keep going, Joe! Buddy, Buddy! She's looking okay. Oh, that's If she keeps on, she'll, she'll be okay. And the champion is... It's the only trophy for my trophy shelf. I love you, Dave! Denzel's charity boxing event has been a knockout. Everyone will take something home from today. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy. And with over £30,000 raised for charity, everyone leaves a hero. You only get out watching for this. That's what life's all about. It certainly seems to be what life on City Road is all about. The street may have seen better days, but it remains Wales's most colourful, diverse and surprising road of retailers. After seeing out a century of change, there's still money, friends and plenty of laughter to be had here. And whatever the world throws at it, one thing is for certain. City Road won't go down without a fight. And you can catch the whole series of City Road on BBC iPlayer. And it's not even beginning yet. <laughs> <laughs> it was started yeah, yet. I know, I know. You wait, you wait. Yeah, See, this yeah, guy yeah. will meet me. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Go I gotta go back up there. I gotta speak All right. to you later. Alright, see you in the back, man. Alright. These guys just make me feel at home. They just make me feel as if I'm one of them and they're looking after me. And it means so much to me. I'm turning me into a Cardiff boy, you know. <laughs> I'd, 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 I'd fly the Welsh flag as much as I would fly the flipping uh, Scottish flag. Put it that way, you know? That's how much these guys have been doing for me, you know? A few weeks later, the residents of City Road get a reminder of just how quickly the best laid business plans can go up in flames. Oh my God. Just gotta be so careful. You'll be out of business. It's devastating. I'm just hoping that this ambulance isn't for one of the firefighters. This year, the street and its residents have seen their fair share of drama. This is the third fire in City Road in like a month. Scary. But city roaders are made of strong stuff. And sometimes after the darkest of nights come the brightest of dawns. <laughs> and last night there was a, a major fire on City Road just across the road from me. This morning I was hoping to come down because we were expecting a big delivery coming for the rest of the stuff from uh, the catering company, you know. Uh, but all the roads have been blocked off. There was a lot of police kind of activity going on. It's all happening in the city road. It's a place to be for the action, without a doubt. 
And you know, it's kind of brought, a, I know I shouldn't say it, but it's kind of brought a, a, a small smile to my face, you know, a bit of action. Um, with everything that's been going on with me, but obviously circumstances, you know, I can't do nothing about that. What? <laughs> Come on, son, let's go. You're going as well, you think, you know what? Yeah, we've come too far now to, to look back. We're going to smash it. We're absolutely going to smash it. <laughs> It's Valentine's Day, and at Passion, everyone and everything. Good fight. Good fight. Phil the Bomber has it. A lucky for Mo, a lucky. That was hard. I expected to win, but obviously the best man on night one. We could have gone either way, we both threw some big punches, we both connected. I left myself too open for him. Oh. Now it's time to enjoy the rest of the night and go and have a beer. Mo, you're buying, aren't you? <laughs> Next up is Charlie, who couldn't be happier. Because despite those trainers, her husband has made it into the building and is sat in the crowd. Nice one, Dave. I got the champion is that's a new trophy for my life actually it's the only trophy for my trophy shelf I love you, Dave. Denzel's charity boxing event has been a knockout everyone will take something home from today so you know I'm I'm happy. And with over £30,000 raised for charity, everyone leaves a hero. You only get out watching for this. That's what life's all about. It certainly seems to be what life on City Road is all about. The street may have seen better days, but it remains Wales' most colourful, diverse, and surprising road of retailers. After seeing out a century of change, there's still money, friends, and plenty of laughter to be had here. And whatever the world throws at it, one thing is for certain. City Road won't go down without a fight. And you can catch the whole series of City Road on BBC i. Two amateur fighters, Charlie and Mo, are seven weeks into their training for a charity boxing event. From the very start, Mo has felt quietly confident. When I first started to the gym, I looked at most of the boys that was on there and it looked like I could give them a proper go. It made me want to win, just to prove a point. But with just two weeks to go before the big fight, Mo hasn't exactly been living like an athlete. We were at a party last night, innit? Like, <laughs> early hours this morning. <laughs> How's your diet going? It was going around uh, until this week. <laughs> Different restaurants every day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I told him. I told him, you go, you're going to get knocked up. I don't lose, because I don't like losing. Yeah? yeah. So. One thing Mo did want to lose when he started boxing training was some weight. Let me give you some food. I think I've lost some, but I haven't weighed myself since I started it, so I, I actually don't know if I if I put on weight or if I lost weight. Tonight, Here he is. all will be revealed as Denzel's son Levi is set to give Mo 
his fitness MOT. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get your weight. I know I weighed in start of the year, well, 125, something like that. So anything below that is a, is a plus to me. Uh, 125 kilos. It's not a good start. One, two, five. One. And when Mo hits the gym, <laughs> Levi realizes his Three. weight isn't the only problem. <coughs> Have you been training outside of here, honestly? It's lifting weights. <laughs> you want to stop the weight and you want to do it. You do it yeah. Honestly, it's the fitness is what you need to. Without a basic level of fitness, Levi's worried Mo might not even go the distance, let alone beat his opponent in the ring. He's not fit at all. He's, uh, uh, he, he's, yeah, yeah. he's finished, he is. Yeah. The fight is coming up in two weeks, and I, I, I want to win. I want to get back in shape before the actual fight. I just feel knackered, though. Can't breathe. Charlie, meanwhile, has a training session with Denzel. Step into the thing. Okay. I think she'd do well because uh, she's motivated. She got a drive. She got a passion. The jab. Now catch my jab. Catch my jab. Seven weeks ago, Charlie had never boxed okay. before. Oh, do the jab. Straight to right. But these days, she can't wait to get the gloves on. Boxing's become a little bit of an obsession for me. I train then six nights a week. As it's coming closer, it's becoming more and more of a challenge. Oh, back with the jab, right hand, one, two, come on, straight four. She's a much fitter person she was going back two months ago, and uh, Charlie's a very aggressive woman. One, eight. eight. Yes! <laughs> this morning, Luke has lost a dare and has to carry a cardboard pole with him to the shops. So, yeah, I've got to, I've got to take this for, for a walk. <laughs> Today, Luke is out to source some exotic ingredients for the boys' dinner, all from City Road. I'm making a stir fry. Stir fry. Um, it's like um, meat and vegetables and like uh, noodles, etc., uh, and a sauce. Can you show me what kind of stuff to get? Thanks, man. Cheers. So I have no idea. Like I've never ever seen pickled mangoes before. And you put this in the pan, yeah? Uh, yeah. What are they? Green leaves. I have no idea how to cook them. What else? Chili sauce. Yes. Do you want? Is it very spicy? Uh, yeah. Cool. I don't think the boys like oysters. I think we'll leave it at that, mate. I think we'll just give this a go. Okay. Okay? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you for help. We're really not that fussy eaters. We just like food in general. So, yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, haven't you forgotten no. something, Luke? Oh, sorry. Oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> uh, basically, I lost a dare. Um, I, I just got to carry it around for no reason whatsoever. So, But thank you for returning it to me. Thank Cheers. You. Thank you very much. We're four guys, all in our, like, 20s. What can I do? We play pranks each other. We try and get one over on each other. So when I said I enjoyed doing the dishes just now, you lied. Oh, yeah, and this is boring. And dinner time is the perfect opportunity for the boys to get one over on each other. Again. What are the odds on you, Nath? Eating a teaspoon of hot sauce. So the odds game is where a dare is proposed. Ten to one. Ten to one. Yeah. The people have to say a number between one and the number in which they gave. Ten. Add oh, count down, please. Three, two, one. And after three, if the, both the numbers we say match, he has to do it. Oh my god. Three, two, one, one. one. Oh! Yay! Oh! <laughs> I want you lose the dare. If you don't f you know, follow through with it, you lose complete respect. <laughs> <laughs> Chili eating isn't the only challenge that's going down on City Road. Take your time when you're sparring. At the Ultimate Fitness Center, under the watchful eye of owner Denzel. Take it easy, we don't want no injuries, okay? Paul came to my rescue. I was like, Paul! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> there was the time when you looked in the sewer one and got covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's my man Friday. That's why I want this room to be done so that he sort of stays around. Oh, all those years of college, all those years of reading, training, this, that and the other. <laughs> I'm putting false cocks in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Aspirations, eh? Let's have a look. Downstairs in the shop, the training is just beginning for Faith's new employee. That's not a dress, is it? No, it's not. No, it is. is that a dress? Oh, it, it changes into a dress when you put it on. Wow. <laughs> Siobhan will be the evening manager at Passion. Well, I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, no, I'm not very good at this at all. I need to tighten things up financially and, and get even more sales if I can by opening till 9pm. I don't know why I'm trying to give the mannequin some sort of modesty. <laughs> there we are. Lovely. Of course, it's vital Siobhan knows her way around the goods. From the smallest... We've got handmade bikinis. They're mainly for strippers. ..to the biggest. <gasps> That's a bad boy, isn't it? It's fabulous. I want one. <laughs> And then we've got bum shaper pants. Bum so, shaping? Yeah, your bum comes they... through there and it makes it into a big, massive... <laughs> into a big, massive round. <laughs> oh, I'm really quite interested to see how she's going to work out. Yeah, I think she'll be good. Hiya, is it Jasmine? At Kebabish Original, Amjid and Uzma have also been interviewing staff in anticipation of opening their restaurant in a couple of weeks. Do you eat out much? Um, not much, no. The only places I go really is like Nando's, and that's oh, the only okay. place I will go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On site, building work continues. Amjid's brother has come all the way from Glasgow to check out progress, and he's impressed. It's pretty classy, doesn't it? Ah, it's very. I like that. But I'm really pleased for him. Proud that it's my brother that's doing this, you know? So... Amjid's putting a brave face on it. But privately, the pressure is mounting. I've not been really sleeping that well. I've been stressed out. I can't sleep. For the last few weeks, progress on site has been painfully slow. There's been a few delays, uh, a few mix-ups. You know, it's frustrating. There's a lot of uh, interest in us opening. People want to book engagements. And we're having to knock all this custom. Uh... Paul Happy. I've got a long history in combat sports with boxing, kickboxing. Took about four or five decent titles, all the big ones nationally. He actually used to be my boxing coach. And that's how we knew each other. A few years ago, when Faith's relationship broke up, Paul went from fitness coach to life coach. I was kind of stranded when I split up from my partner. He was here one minute and then the next day he's gone. Now I've got leaks all over the building and carrying big, massive, flipping heavy things up the stairs and this, that and the other, and I had to cope with it all on my own. And then Paul came to my rescue. I was like, Paul! <laughs> it was the time when you looked in the sewer one and got covered in shit. <laughs> 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 he's my man Friday. That's why I want this room to be done so that he sort of stays around. Oh, all those years of college, all those years of reading, training, this, that and the other. <laughs> I'm putting false cocks in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Aspirations, eh? <laughs> Let's have a look. Downstairs in the shop, the training is just beginning for Faith's new employee. That's not a dress, is it? No, it's not. No, it is. is that a dress? No, it, it changes into a dress when you put it on. Wow. <laughs> Siobhan will be the evening manager at Passion. Well, I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, no, I'm not very good at this at all. I need to tighten things up financially and, and get even more sales if I can by opening till 9pm. I don't know why I'm trying to give the mannequin some sort of modesty. <laughs> There we are. Lovely. Of course, it's vital Siobhan knows her way around the goods. From the smallest... We've got handmade bikinis. They're mainly for strippers. ..to the biggest. 
That's a bad boy, isn't it? <laughs> it's fabulous. I want one. <laughs> And then we've got bum shaper pants. So bum shaping? Yeah, your bum comes they... through there and it makes it into a big, massive... <laughs> <laughs> into a big, massive round. <laughs> I'm really quite interested to see how she's going to work out. Yeah, I think she'll be good. Hiya, is it Jasmine? At Kebabish Original, Amjid and Uzma have also been interviewing staff in anticipation of opening their restaurant in a couple of weeks. Do you eat out much? Um, not much, no. The only places I go really is like Nando's, and that's oh, okay. the only place I will go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On site, building work continues. Amjid's brother has come all the way from Glasgow to check out progress, and he's impressed. It looks pretty classy, doesn't it? The bar there. Chad, the old. <laughs> I quite like punching people in the face now, to be honest. <laughs> it's the getting in the ring in front of loads of people that bothers me. There'll be 400 people there. Yay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but one very important person won't be in the crowd. Is your husband going to watch you? No. He's not? He's not. He thinks it's a stupid idea. No. Are you serious? Absolutely. For him to be there on, on the night would we'll, we'll just make it for me, to be honest. But doesn't really want to go. Um, boxing's not his thing. Yeah, he, yeah. he don't want to see me getting punched in the face. Well, which is, which is fair. <laughs> I, I can understand. You sure I'll be OK? Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will be OK. I don't mind getting hit now. So uh, I think if I'd carry on doing it, I might even learn to like it a bit. <laughs> At Mesopotamia this morning. Hi, hi, I'm Amir. <laughs> Ayad has managed to recruit two chefs to test drive his new kitchen, ready for opening. Okay, yeah, come to the kitchen. Yeah, I'm very, very proud when I looking is everything done, everything finished. But all that building work has left its mark. Ayad's dream restaurant looks more like a kitchen nightmare. We need, first of all, to clean it up. We need to start from zero. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We need a lot of work to do, to be honest. Otherwise, we're going to be poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to be nice and clean. Make sure everything is clean. In the cleaning frenzy, someone is notably absent. Where's the boss? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Turns out a dirty kitchen isn't Ayad's only problem today. Every day have some new problem. I have leak. Jesus. Okay. So what are, you, what are you gonna do about it? <sighs> Fix it. He's done everything himself so far. Who needs a plumber now? Be careful. I don't want to have a shower. I had perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the now spotless kitchen, Amir is grappling with the challenge of preparing a Middle Eastern dish worthy of a place on Ayad's menu. This is kebab. It's very delicious. Yeah, they're gonna love it. I just can't wait. <laughs> At Cardiff Swalek Stadium, the stage is set for the white-collar boxing match. And event organizers Denzel and Robbie are impressed. I'm blown away by this. It's amazing. When yeah. the lights and all that are on, it's going to look... Oh, no. It's going to look amazing. Awesome. All they need now are some fighters. <laughs> At home in Wenvo, Charlie is preparing for the challenge. I can't wait to get there. I've been uh, much more about how I'm going to knock someone out or not knock someone out. That's Prove the first lot right, is it? Charlie's already won a major battle this morning. She's finally persuaded her husband, Dave, to come and watch her fight. Sorted. Do you reckon? Yeah, he'll do. He'll do? Yeah. I'm really happy that he's going, but 
I'm sure he will be relieved when it's all over and he can get his wife back. Meanwhile, back at the stadium, Mo arrives. In good time, though perhaps not in good form. How are you feeling, Mo? I was tired, man. I worked a 12-hour shift last night, then, so... Yeah? Well, at least, at least he's turned up, anyway. <laughs> for Mo, just standing in line for the medical is exhausting. I'm so tired, literally. I could fall asleep right here. And hungry work. I need to get some food, man. Nice, juicy wrap steak, though, man. Oh. Potatoes, everything, bro. Although he's still talking the talk. I'm confident I can do this. Oh, you have to be in there. You can't walk in there without no confidence. Really. What's the point of walking inside the ring? As for Charlie... Yeah, yeah looking forward to it. Always oh, something's got to go wrong, though, hasn't it? Let's hope that something isn't Dave. So is he coming in? Yes, he's been conned into coming yeah. in. It's got to be quite difficult, though, seeing your, your better half... Uh, seeing your wife getting oh, yeah, exactly. in the face. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wouldn't like it, mate. I'll be Would honest, you? like, I wouldn't. I couldn't handle it. I'd probably jump in here and drop him. My husband's more horizontal. Oh, is he? Yeah. <laughs> no, I agree that. It's going to be pumping in here. It's going to be an amazing atmosphere. All right? Everyone happy? Yeah, man. At the ringside photo shoot, our fighters get a chance to check out the opposition. Save me, save me. Charlie will be fighting Sophie the Knockout Carlson. <laughs> get used to the feeling of these ropes, girl. You'll be honest, you'll be honest. <laughs> I'm less nervous than I thought I was going to be coming in, to be honest with you. Mo, on the other hand... They all find me don't understand, but I'm getting nervous now, guys. <laughs> ...has to take down Phil, the bomber. I heard he's a good fighter, but I've never actually seen him fight. I spied with him a couple of times, but that's it. Phil, the bomber. Um, he's, he's a big lad, strong boy. There you go, my lovely. All right. As well as their wallets. I'm getting good at this, tonight. <laughs> With new assistant Siobhan holding the fort, Faith's grand plan to increase the bottom line and diversify Woo! is coming together. Yeah. Yeah. Having Siobhan there is definitely going to actually free me up a little and then I can concentrate on running every part of the business. It's a business that's now making an impact. Don't load it up, just pop it out. Put a left hook on the end. Upstairs, Paul's plans to turn Faith's warehouse into a war house have finally come together. The room's ready, more or less. Now I've got to fill it, I've got to pay for it. Got all the gear, I've got Andy's new hands to put inside them. So, uh, put a four shot combo. One, two left hooks, straight right. Oh, it's just such a relief to have it up and running. It was a great use of the room. We've been this before, it wasn't really making any money. So I think Paul's happy now as well. So I think he'll be with us for a while. <laughs> I can't get rid of him now. You really think your man Friday would have left you stranded, Faith? No, I wouldn't have left. Family and friends, family and friends. First. Probably cost me over the years, but uh, I can sleep at night. So. Straight right. Aww. I love watching them doing this. I want to have a go. <laughs> you go, girl. Can't touch this. Can't touch While Faith and Paul are just starting to punch their way into profit, down the road at Ultimate Fitness. OK, the old empty hammer shit. OK, let's go. The gloves are off. Hey. Hey. Last week, 120 people signed up to be a hero for six minutes in Denzel's Amateur Boxing Charity Challenge. Break it down. Come on, let's dig it. Let's go. Come on. It's three two-minute rounds, so you fight for six minutes. Change sides and keep punching. It's going to be the hardest six minutes of your life. Come on. Dig up and come on. Two people who are determined to go the distance are Mo. You're bigger than me. Come on. And Charlie. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, one thing I do like about Charlie, I think she's quite aggressive. She quite, she's quite spunky. My husband thinks it's a stupid idea, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was tortured that was. What I've seen of Mo, you know, I think he lacks a lot of fitness, but she hasn't done nothing whatsoever before. So, you know, fair dues, I take my hat off to anyone who wants to do this. Mo and Charlie have their own reasons for wanting to take part. 
I'm a little bit of an adrenaline junkie, and I always need something in life to challenge me. <laughs> this is the best day ever. <laughs> Like, oh, I just had a waft, <laughs> a disgusting waft of... It's so childless. The thing is, you'd think we'd grow out of it and the game would get boring, but I think we'd be playing it for maybe, I don't know, maybe a year and a half, two years. Probably going to play it for the rest of our lives, really. Right, Max, you know, that looks massive. I still feel like rubbish. And I smell like rubbish, too. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> Three, two, one, seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> Please make some noise for Hope Spider-Man! At the charity boxing event, hopefully well rested after his afternoon nap, in the blue corner, Mo is up first. Will Mo, the Spider-Man, spin a web that stops Phil the bomber? in his tracks. Oh, no, no, move! Get out! Get out! Let's go, Phil! Let's go! Meanwhile, Charlie is fighting her own battle. Hello. Where are you two? Trying to track down her husband, Dave. Dave's gone and lost his shoes. Uh, a bit concerned he's not going to get in. and infuriates me sometimes. <laughs> Come on, Mo! Come on, Mo! Jesus Christ! Switch on now! Listen! Breathe! Breathe! Phil does seem to be a little bit fitter than him. I mean, you never know. Last long, Mo, you know, might pull something out of the bag. In the final minute, Mo gives it his all. But is it enough? It was a good bout, no, 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 good fight. Good fight. Phil the bomber has it. Unlucky for Mo. Unlucky. That was hard. I expected to win, but obviously the best man on the night one. We could have gone either way, both threw some big punches, we both connected. I left myself too open for him. Oh. Now it's time to enjoy the rest of the night. I'm going to have a beer. Mo, you're buying, are you? <laughs> Next up is Charlie, who couldn't be happier. Because despite those trainers, her husband has made it into the building and is sat in the crowd. Nice one, Dave. Visitors here can sample the flavors of 18 different countries. And behind every shop window, there's a great story waiting to be told. Me, come on, one more. Single shot here. Me. Oh, good shot. Me. Tucked away on one of City Road side streets Me. is the ultimate fitness center. Me. For sure. Me. Me. Where champions Me. are made. Back with you. Back with you. Back with Denzel Lawrence, the owner, is a former world title kickboxer. I was world champion, I was British champion, I became European champion then. I was world champion. I've done it and I'm proud of what I've done. Now retired from fighting, Denzel trains current champions, including his own son, Levi, in his specially designed combat fitness gym. The gym we got now is absolutely awesome. Master, come on, keep it going! You know, I fitted this on a gym that I would like to have gone to when, you know, I used to fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. In my gym, you got all walks of life. And they all mix, they all get on. Let's go, change up. Come on, come on. To come me, on. it's the gym of the Good. future. Good, come on, get it up. That's it. Tonight, Denzel is throwing open the gym doors to a bunch of boxing virgins. We got a lot of new faces today, which is awesome. I think at the moment, we got about and the people. These men, and a few women, are signing up to get fighting fit for a white-collar boxing event that Denzel is organizing. Who thinks white-collar boxing is easy? <laughs> white-collar boxing is something anyone can do. Teachers, doctors, civil servants, 
anyone who haven't thrown one punch in their life. And they want to give up their free time, you know, uh, to raise money for the charity. So you're all going to train together for nine weeks, and then you're going to step into the ring and fight each other, basically, for charity, for help for heroes. Yeah, so you obviously will... A lot of people do not know what, what is involved, but it is an awesome journey and a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Have you seen the Hero 6 Minutes kit? If anyone can get this bunch punching above their weight, it's Denzel. Denzel's held multiple titles and trained multiple champions, including his son, Levi. Tonight, it's standing room only. But next week, when the fists start flying... Guys, hero for six minutes, yeah! Who will still be standing? Hi, Sir, it's Amjad. Can you please give me a call back? It's six months since Amjad began work on his dream restaurant on City Road. By his... I think she do well because uh, she's motivated. She got a drive. She got a passion. The jab. Now catch my jab. Catch my jab. Seven weeks ago, Charlie had never boxed okay. before. Oh, do the jab. Straight to right. But these days, she can't wait to get the gloves on. Boxing's become a little bit of an obsession for me. I train then six nights a week. As it's coming closer, it's becoming more and more of a challenge. Oh, back with the jab. Right hand. One, two. She's a much fitter person she was going back two months ago, and uh, Charlie's a very aggressive woman, so uh, I haven't got no worries about that. Charlie out. <laughs> I quite like punching people in the face now, to be honest. <laughs> it's the getting in the ring in front of loads of people that bothers me. There'll be 400 people there. Yay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> But one very important person won't be in the crowd. Is your husband going to watch you? No. He's not? He's not. He thinks it's a stupid idea. No. Are you serious? Absolutely. For him to be there on, on the night would we'll, we'll just make it for me, to be honest. But doesn't really want to go. Um, boxing's not his thing. Yeah, he, yeah. he don't want to see me getting punched in the face. Well, which is, which is fair. <laughs> I, I can understand. Are you sure I'll be OK? Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will be OK. I don't mind getting hit now. So I think if I'd carry on doing it, I might even learn to like it a bit. <laughs> one, two, that's it. One, one, two, I'm on the last I can't do it. <laughs> At Mesopotamia this morning... Hi. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> Ayad has managed to recruit two chefs to test drive his new kitchen ready for opening. Okay. Yeah, come to the kitchen. Yeah, I'm very, very proud when I look in, it's everything done, everything finished. But all that building work has left its mark. Ayad's dream restaurant looks more like a kitchen nightmare. We need, first of all, to clean it up. We need to start from zero. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We need a lot of work to do, to be honest. Otherwise, you're going to be poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to be nice and clean. Make sure everything is clean. In the cleaning frenzy, someone is notably absent. Where's the boss? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody there? Hello? Hello? Turns out a dirty kitchen isn't Ayad's only problem today. Maybe they have some... Ali have their own reasons for wanting to take part. I'm a little bit of an adrenaline junkie, and I always need something in life to challenge me, to be honest. Come on! Fitness-wise, get a bit of fitness. I wanted to do some weight as well. 2016, new, new year, new me. The minds are willing. Jabo, come on, let's go. But with just nine weeks to go before they have to fight, will these bodies be able? Of course I'll make it to the end. I don't know whether I'll win or lose, it doesn't matter. Just a new challenge, just getting to the end is what Obviously there's, um, there's boys in here who's been boxing four or five years, so that's why, like, if I train hard enough, maybe I'll get them to fight, so we'll see. While for some, the hard work is just beginning. First session out the way. Well done. 
for others on City Road. There's plenty of time for fun. I can't wait to go to bed. And a chance to make a brighter future in which everyone has their moment to be a hero. A stone's throw from the shopping mecca of Cardiff City Centre lies a street with a long history of homegrown business. Good morning, Corey Co. How can I help? A kilometre-long melting pot of independent retailers, City Road is the country's most diverse street. Almost 60% of those who live here were born outside of Wales. So much diversity in City Road. My Scottish accent just adding to it, I think. A place where new... I hope open next month. ..and old collide. I wouldn't like a business down here now it's altered. Where change is inevitable and fun times are always just around the corner. Vibrating mascara looks kind of spiky. Ah, look at that! On a street that was once the site for public executions... Oh, I'm going to cry, you know. ..it's not always easy to survive, but the people of City Road have learned to come out fighting. Let's go, Let's go. And they never stay down for long. I love you, Dave! This is life on City Road. It's a place to be for action. Sporting the most eclectic mix of shop fronts in Wales, City Road is a street where newcomers are welcome. In City Road, people is friendly. Welsh is nice. Right, let's go. For those taking on a new life challenge. One, two, that's it. Yeah! 